Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff, nail stuff. I didn't take enough air. And stuff she does when nails are done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. <sighs> Thanks for joining me today. I'm not here today. I mean, I'm here, but I'm not on screen. I just, I'm, I'm, I have, I'm busy. Um, I was sent this from Rosalind. It's a gel polish starter kit. So I thought we will have a look, see what's in it, see what we can get. So we have a whopping full size um, nail lamp, a sun, is it a UV and LED? I think I look closer at the. Um, information oh yes it is UV LED, UV LED and then it comes with a cable and a plug uh, oh that's got a cable on as well one must go into the other ignore my nails they're still a mess what are you gonna do and then so we have this full-size lamp which is really good oh it's a sun 9s plus 9s plus I don't know what the plus means and then we have a little bag of goodies should we have a look what have we got? We have got a little floofy duster brush. I like a floofy duster brush with little bits of blingy majigs on the handle. Give your hands a dust. Test it out. And then we have a bottle of cuticle oil. Uh, and I did smell it. And it did smell very nice. And then we have a cuticle remover. So that will remove the cuticle. <laughs> We'll lift it off the nail plate. And then we have this scraper, which is taking off um, gel polish once it's soaked, obviously. L I love tools that are this color. So cool. If I ever had my own brand, everything would be that. All these kind of hollow rainbow goodness. And then we have a cuticle pusher. And then it's got the scraper at the other end. Again, this gorgeous color. What is this? thing called there's a there's a name for it isn't there because my vape pen is like it I can't remember what it is and then it comes with some um, nail wipes I wouldn't recommend using like if you were I mean this is fine for a starter kit obviously but if you were a nail technician like don't get ones that come in individual bags just buy a bunch of lint wipes um, and then we have this tool this is one of those ones it's got a little blade in between that kind of Y shape at the end, and you use it to go around the cuticle. I tried it, I cut myself quite badly, um, but I've never used one before. So if you're good with those, then that's good, but I I can't use it because I'm cat candid. And then we have some full size nail clippers, which is fantastic because mine have been destroyed by barbicide. Rust free, barbicide calls itself, it's lying. Um, mine have gone all rusty. And then some cuticle nippers with a little lid. I don't don't normally have lids on them. I like that. And again, that's that funky rainbowy goodness. And then we have a set base and top coat. So inside this is a full size base coat, top coat, and matte top coat. I think they're seven mils, or are they ten mils? Uh, ten mils, I think. Let's have a closer look. Do we have a closer look? Yes, they are 10 mils, all soak offs. And then we have gel polish set, colors. Let's have a look at the colors. These are, um, okay, we need to put these in number order. So let's do some magic because I can't live with myself if I don't. Bing, there we go. All in number order. <laughs> I'm getting fantastic at editing, am I not? <laughs> So let's see what colours we have. Number 28 is blue. These pots are, I won't tell you, I won't try and describe the colours. We've established I'm not very good at describing colours. This is a kind of peach. It reminds me of peaches. It looks kind of peachy with hints of peach. Although this one looks sparkly. That's pretty cool. Um, what was I saying? Yes, these are little mini sample pots that I think are sent out for like promos and things like this. So the pots you would get if you bought from them would obviously be 
whatever their full size pots are. I'm guessing based on the base and tops that they would be 10 mil as well, but this was just a, a small amount in these little pots. So we're going to do something with these colors. And I was thinking spring flowers. We know I'm not really into painting flowers. So we're going to do the world's easiest flowers. The world's easiest flowers. They're going to be dot flowers, easy, quick, and easy some more. So we'll pick some colors from these. I think there was, uh, what is there, three, six, nine, 12. Is there 12 or is that four rows? No, I think it's 12 colors. So I'm going to pick a bunch from there and then go for super duper easy peasy lemon squeezy flowers because I suck at drawing flowers. Oh, look, we also got some files, some uh, a grit buffer and a grit file. I think buffer one is probably a bit more padded. So I'm going to start with the purple. It's not super pigmented, but the second coat you get full opacity. I do show um, the second coat of the purple one. So we're going to do one purple, one pink, and then I think I do them all different colors, and then we'll do a second coat on everything. Oh, this color, this blue, this is lovely. Very springy. Is spring springing where you are? Spring is definitely springing here. Although, was it yesterday? Yesterday, gorgeous sunny day and then just absolutely pissed down for about three minutes. Torrential monsoon. Um, and then it was sunny again. So this is the second coat of the purple. I just wanted to show a second coat on one of them. And then I'll do a second coat on all the others as well. And they have a one minute cure time so in the lamp and then on the last nail I'm going to do this green I like this green never worn green on my nails but some people it looks nice on but I would never volunteer I went to do my nails the other day I thought it's spring do them a nice pale pink that's got glitter in it I did one and had to take it off and now I have a dark burgundy <laughs> so let's start with our bunny we are, we've, I've used the brush and used the shape of the top of the brush to get the shape of the head and then just splayed the bristles out to each side to get that kind of rounded shape. And then I haven't cured that yet. I'm adding in these ears while that is still wet so that we can brush down into it. Um, and then just going to faff about, I, I sort of ended up making the ears a bit fatter than I had intended, but it kind of works out okay. So I'm just doing some big, flat, overly type, I'm doing bunny ears, and then we'll do another one. And this one's going to be bent, so I'm gonna start the same, and I should have left it lower, like it is now, a bit lower than the one on the left in height, shorter in height. But I thought it looked a bit odd, because it would be shorter because it's bent over, but I ended up taking it as high as the other one even though it's bent so if it was <laughs> if it was unbent if he folded his ear up this one would be a lot longer than the other one but I think it just kind of looked better having them both at the same height even though one was does it matter no should I keep talking about this height of his ears shouldn't be mean to the poor bunny if he's got one ear bigger than the other that's just you know adds character anyway cure that and then I'm going to just swipe along the side and down kind of a side French. It's not really a side French. It's a side slide. It's a slide. And then I think I did two coats of that. On a person, obviously, you'd want to use a detail brush because you can't swipe beyond their nail when there's an annoying, pesky human in the way. And then I'm doing the same on the purple, but on the other side. Should have been looking at the green one to make sure they were even, but didn't. And I thought at the time I should look at the green one, but it's in the lamp and I can't be bothered. And oh, now it's gone too fat. Oh, well, we were going for a quick, easy set. So I wasn't going to rectify or wipe and do it again. I was just going to keep it as it was and then just neatening it out a bit with a detail brush. And then I'll do, again, two coats 
on that one. And I think they were relative, it was relatively similar to the green one in, in angle and width, angle and thickness. I don't know. <laughs> and now I'm taking the same pink that I've used on the background to do the insides of his, hers, his, I don't know, um, ears. Ears. And then on the next one, making sure I get a straight line at an angle there because that's where the ear would have been folded over so because we're not going to outline the bunny or the ears the straight angle of that pink line that pink bit at the top here is defining our folded over flappy flappy ear and then I'm going to cure that this is a kind of flash as you go set as well so that just hold things in place so now for the easiest dots in the world, not dots, the easiest flowers in the world with dots. There's no, there's no difficult dot in the world for there to be an easiest dot in the world. But we like dots, so I'm going to do five. When you're doing uh, flowers, um, then <laughs> I'm really aware that I keep emphasizing words for no reason. I'm kind of in a rush. So I'm, anyway... The, when you do flowers, it's good to do an odd number of petals. That's what I heard somewhere. Do an odd number when it's flowers. So I suppose because you don't want it to look like um, too, what's the word? Too uniform. It's a flower. So I'm flash curing each color as I go. So I'll do all the blue ones, then flash for five, ten seconds, and then go in with the next color and don't worry about the middle of the flower because we're going to cover that up so don't worry that the middle of them looks a bit of a disaster and then we'll have some coming off the edge here and then I will full cure this because we're going to go on top of it and I'm going to do the same in the white bits of these what about the blue nail and what other nail is there the green the purple Oh, the bunny, the bunny, yeah. Um, so I'll do the same on this. Again, don't worry about the center of them. They look a mess, that's okay. Oh, didn't like that one. No, oh, I only wanted to change the color. And then full cure that. And then we'll give our little bunny a little flower headband, headdress. What do, What are those things called? You know, like bridesmaids that wear flowers around their head. A flower tiara? A flower, a little wreath kind of thing. But I was full... No, I wasn't. I was half curing. Half cured the middle one because we were going to put something touching it either side. Because um, you don't... You know, if you flash cure it, they might blend a bit. So so we've got all our flowers on and full cured them. And now we're taking the yellow, really bright yellow, and then just doing a dot in the centre. And that's going to neaten up the centre of our flowers because it's making a perfect circle around it. So then we will full cure or half cure that because the next step isn't going to touch it, but we want it to stay in place. So maybe a half cure. And then the same on all the flowers. And then for the easiest leaves in the world, just flicks. That's it, flick. Flick, flick, flick. And I, want, I wanted to get as many on as possible because I wanted to kind of completely cover the white area. So I'm just doing little Vs. Line, 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 line. That's it. Done. Nice and easy. Same on this. Just little flick. It's good to bring the flick out of um, like a, a bit of the petal that goes in. So, I mean, I didn't do that on all of them. I should have. Instead of the sort of the dot the protruding part of the dot do it on the bit between two dots that's what I mean but I didn't do it but it does look better if you do it coming out of the bit between two dots and just some little flicky flicks and then that I think can have a half cure you can full cure if you want but a half cure will do because we're going to put more on more on but we don't want to, because they're only small bits and they're next to each other, these green lines, these little flicks, if we don't f at least flash them in place, they'll kind of, the gel will want to join up with itself and merge together. So we'll half cure. 
Oh, and then I wanted to add this. If you want to add this bit, do it before doing the flowers because it was an afterthought, afterthought for me. So I had to try and kind of avoid, avoid the flowers, whereas we could have used that extra white real estate to put more flowers in. But do that bit before, like when you do the initial white bit, before doing the flowers. And then I did the same on the purple one. It's a very, this is, all you need is a, a dotting tool for this really, because you could make this shape with um, a dotting tool, just moving it round in circles. But I thought I'd start with a cross was the best chance for me to get some kind of relatively centered symmetrical oval. It's still not great. <laughs> Circles and overly things and symmetry, not really my friend. Lines, thin straight lines, love them. Circles, not so much. And then I'm using the dotting tool, I need to breathe. Ooh. I'm using the dotting tool again to go round the outside to trailer park girls and then the the I did two coats of the white in the middle and I did full cure them but you could um, flash cure because you're going to want to full cure this next bit anyway but I didn't want to do the dots on whilst the middle of the second coat of the oval in the center was wet because I thought it might sort of blob together a bit too much. Those dots aren't perfect, but they're, they're nice enough. <laughs> and now for the eyes, we're just going to do two little U shapes, just thin U shapes and two dots and I'm making a little heart for the nose because I don't know what a rabbit's nose looks like. I mean, I do, but a heart will do. And then give, oh, it's a girl. We've got lashes. Boys can wear lashes. Boys have lashes. But as with most animal drawings, like in Disney or whatever, you know if an animal is a girl or a boy because the girls have big eyelashes. Anyway, and now, is that it? Are we done? I think we're done. We are topping everything with the top. It was a nice top coat. So it was quite thick, which I like. Um, yeah, nice consistency. And I am adding an extra line down the center of that just to even out the light line where obviously we've got raised bits and our light line was going to be really wiggly. So I did it quite thick. And then if you do need to add an extra bit down the center, not a crazy amount, don't go bananas because it will burn in the lamp. Unless you really don't like the client, then just put loads on. No, I'm kidding. I do not condone violence. Um, but yeah, do it nice and thick. But this is quite a thick top coat anyway. I did really like this top coat. And then everything will have a cure. Yeah, should see, I should have done those dots, like the sort of edging as I did the white, but I hadn't thought about it then. I just thought it made it a bit more, I don't know, springy, a bit sort of more floral and frilly, a bit frilly. And then we're covering our flowers. Again, this one, because there's so much up and downy bits from all the flowers on there, making sure it's nice and thick. And then do I run an extra bit down the center? I'm not sure. I think I did, but I think maybe I just didn't get that on camera. And look at our little bunny. What are we going to call it? Answers on a postcard. Not really. Answers in the comments. Um, somebody pick a name for me and I'll try and remember to announce in the next video which name we chose. So this is the set. There was 12 polishes in that, but again, they were just tiny um, uh, per, 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 promo, promo ones. And then the full base coat. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this set. Uh, oh yeah, should we have a look at it? <laughs> Here it is. Um, nice, quick and easy, cute spring set. Easy peasy flowers. Anyone can do flowers. And when they're all together like that, they look great. Don't look at one individually by itself close up. You're just asking for trouble. I will leave details about this kit in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you being here so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bye.